Hello, art friends, and welcome to another episode of Mr. O'Neill's Art Class on YouTube. Um, do you like board games? Have you been playing board games since you've been home? My family has totally been playing board games. We have been sitting here. We've been playing Clue, classic old edition of Clue there. Sitting here, Trivial Pursuit. My family hates Trivial Pursuit because I destroy them. <laughs> Love that. Um, would you rather craziness on bounds on that? Would you rather? Would you rather hug a bear? I don't know. Probably not. And Junior Ranger Land, all about visiting our national parks and the stuff. This is from Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. It's very cool. But we've been playing tons of it, of board games. Um, because you know, a lot of times we've been bored. Have you been bored? Are you bored of your board games? Well, if you are bored of your board games, that's what today's art project is for. This should be a quick one. I'm not going to show you everything to do. I want to see your imagination on it. So what we can do is make our own board games. So I am going to start off with a cereal box, okay? Because this has got nice cardboardy stuff and it's pretty good. So you're going to want to start by like opening both ends. This one's already open. We've emptied the cereal out. We've eaten all that because my children are eating me out of house and home. But go through here, right there, open up the bottom as well, and then you can take your scissors or some sort of other cutting tool and just go up one of the sides and cut as nicely as you can. This is another one of those times where it's nice to have an adult and help you with one of those box cutters or exacto knives but you can do it yourself so take it fold these pieces back all these edges and stuff don't make for a nice board for your game so we're going to cut all those extra edges off and save them because we're going to use them for other things and other pieces and parts of the game so i'm going to cut that edge off i'm going to cut this edge off do this all the way around you're going to want to keep that fold in the middle though because you want it to be able to open up to a big um, board all right so i've cut all those pieces off i've got the board for my game now I can decorate this, okay? I'm going to give it a name, give it a title. I'm not going to show you all that stuff and waste your time. You can use your crayons. You can use your markers. You can use any sort of thing. And let's make a game board. So I'm going to see and direct you down there at my workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take a Sharpie. And I, you could make a nice squared off and use your ruler to do that. So maybe this, this section over here is my start. And I'm going to make a ruler. I'm going to make it really easy because I'm going to make my board just the width of my ruler. So I'm going to trace this side. And I'm going to trace this side. Okay. Right there. And now I can go back and forth between top and bottom. One, make a little wide one for the start maybe. Here, here, and just trace out how wide your steps are. Now I've got my moving spaces. Now say I wanna get crazy and I want it to go around. You can do that as well. Just keep it as neat as you can and try and keep the things as far apart as you as, are the same distance apart, not as far apart. And then you'll use your ruler again and you'll kind of have to adjust the spacing this time. You know, maybe you want to add color to these steps like um, Candyland or something like that. You'll add like a, you know, don't pass go or a, jail or something like you would have on monopoly um all sorts of different things you can just make it be whatever you want to once you've made that game board okay so we've got this and eventually you'll go around and you maybe your finish is up here so we'll label this as start 
and then my finish is going to be up here. You decide what happens on the rest of the game. You decide what happens in different places, what's going to go on, what you're going to do. How do you move from space to space? How do you know? Well, there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. You can go ahead and you could just steal from other games. So I'm going to go in here and to move it along, I'm going to grab the dice out of my Trivial Pursuit game and I could use that. Um, or you could make your own little spinner. Okay. You could make a spinner to do that. And that's what some of this extra cardboard is going to be for. So I'm going to take the extra cardboard and I'm going to cut something that kind of looks like an arrow maybe. All right. All right. And then. Okay, so I'm going to cut and something that looks like my arrow, just a little arrow out of car. Oh, look, it still says Kellogg's on the back. I might use this side. This is pretty cool. I like that. Then I'm going to take paper plate, okay, to make for my spinner. And you might have wanted to make your arrow a little bit bigger than this. How do you make it spin? How do you do it? Well, let's look at my workspace again. And on my workspace, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and make different um, lines through here to where different things are going to go through the middle, through the middle. And again, you may want to take and color some of these in. I don't think I have my colored markers out. To, oh, I got my crayons. So, crayons and... Make that one nice and colored. You know, color your other one. Different colors. Do a better job than me, please. Take your time. I don't want to spend all of your time on the YouTube channel. I'm trying to have a shortish one today. Um, how do I get that to spin? Pretty easy if you take your sharpened pencil or a pen or something that's relatively sharp and pointy and you're going to go and just poke a hole right there in the middle okay you're also going to poke a hole in your arrow okay so hole here hole there how do you get them to spin well if you have one of these nice little fancy like brad things those little um this was a picture of my daughter uh those little brad things you can use those to punch through both of them most of us don't have those i am just going to use a twisty tie a little twisty tie came off the bread so i'm going to take the twisty tie and i'm going to put fold it in half like this I'm going to put both ends through the hole that I just poked in the arrow. And you may have to poke your hole a little bit bigger. You may not if you did it right. Both of them went through. Leave some of it hanging out here. Take both of those holes. Poke them through the paper plate. Pull it down kind of tight, but not all the way tight. On the back, you'll take your little pieces and spread them out. Just like that. And then on the top, you can take this little piece and just kind of puff it out a little bit. Kind of put your finger or put the pin in there and poof it out a little bit. And then once you move it around enough, look, you have a spinner. It doesn't spin amazingly yet. Because you got to, you've got to kind of work this one in, okay? Is you got to get it to where it spins nicely, and those things are going to happen. You can go ahead and probably tape down your piece on the back here, so it doesn't move. 
and then you just got to work this until that hole wears into the thing to where it spins freer and freer and freer. So just sit here. You're going to have to work it a little bit, but then you will eventually, eventually have a nice spinner that moves well. Okay. So you can make that way or steal the spinner off another game. Up to you. So you can have that, make that pieces. Again, I told you what these little deals to save all of this. You can totally go ahead and cut yourself out um, your piece. Um, whatever shape you want your piece to be, you can make it look like little people. I think I'm going to try and make mine look like a little person. Cut it out. Maybe. Um, if you have like little pictures of yourself, you could totally go ahead and like tape that on there. Um, you can draw it on there. Leave a little bit at the bottom. Leave a little bit at the bottom to fold back, to fold under so it stands up. Because you're going to want them to stand up on your game board. Okay. So you fold a little bit, bit back on there. You might have to put a little bit weight, more weight. Decorate that person. Don't leave it like that because that's kind of not cool. If you don't want to do that, if you don't have it, use some toys you have at home. I've got Buster Bunny, the Animaniacs. There's Wacko from the Animaniacs. Pinky and the Brain. Use those. Use Lego people. If you've got a 3D printer, you know, print some people out or something. I think I'm going to use Lego Man because these those guys are kind of big for this. But now you're basically ready to play. You go to the start. You go to the finish. Let's, what are we going to do? Let's use the dice. Oh, sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what happens here? You haven't designed that. You still have to do that. You have to figure out. Do you draw a card? Do you make up a bunch of cards? Do you have to do a drawing challenge here? Okay, this one says uh, draw a bat blindfolded or whatever. Make your own board game. Make it yours, and then you can play it with your family and your friends if your friends are here, or you could do it over like a video call and play a board game with your friends. You make one, they make one. Play it digitally and virtually. So make your own board game. Have fun.